what if what if you're in line paying for your dinner and the murderer is behind you buying milk? <laughs> That's what I deal with every day. Every day. Or or if it's not that, it's it's going to sleep at night. Hopefully having a nice blacklist sleep and then knowing like what did your mom think last what was her last thought how scared was she what was she thinking for the billboard companies for uh, 30 years now and uh, I was sent into Olympia to post uh, my daily routine and uh, when I got to location I realized that uh, the person uh, that I knew the lady personally that I was putting up the billboard for and it was a friend of mine a friend of mine Karen Bodine <clears throat> and uh, when I realized that the poster was going up with any information for Karen Bodine. Uh, there's a tip line, and uh, I thought that was really great because billboards are hard to get. They're very expensive, and there is funding for it. And her daughter Carly did a really awesome job and hard work to do that for her mom. It's not as easy as people think it is. I watched a woman in one day go from the site of her mother's murder then go to a graveyard it's just not as easy as people think it is you want to talk about working hard you want to talk about being relentless on a pursuit that means something more to you than anything else on the entire planet a fighter and she always was and she taught me that from the beginning her sweet little dog Odin was running around playing he had the greatest day ever as, as hard as it was for Carly because he has heart failure and he's not going to be around long. Oh, oh this he's one's so sucking cute. Yeah. 
Jesus is Mama's babies. I've had him since right before my mom died. He's my everything. He's kept me through everything. He's kept me safe and loyal and happy. She's so cute. I love him. Hi, babies. Hi, Booms. Hi, Booms. Hi, Booms. Yeah. I know. She loved Odin. He was all that she had um, left in the world that she, she really, really cherished. When I went to Texas and Mitchell was at work, I guess he had a tumor and it erupted and the vets missed it. That's got to be pretty painful, having a tumor erupt that the vets didn't know about. You know? But I also heard that if a dog really loves you, he's not around his, you know, his loved one when he dies. And he waited till I went to Texas to die. And the thing that gives me, the only thing that gives me one iota of peace is my mom was such an animal lover and she's been up in heaven for so long. It's probably getting kind of boring and she probably wanted a dog. And Odin was pretty sick, and I think he just wanted to be loved too. So now Mommy and Odin are together, and it's one less thing I have to worry about for them. But this time, we got friends along, and they're equally as passionate as seeing Carly get justice for Karen Bodine. I know that that means uh, that that's a, it, it was probably a very emotional day for Carly because these billboards are incredibly expensive. And I know that, you know, she doesn't make a ton of money um, just from, you know, things that I've had conversations with her and, um, you know, she prioritized using her own money and money that she's gotten from the GoFundMe to get those up. And I know that that just probably feels like, you know, that chapter is over. And so it's probably extremely demoralizing for her. We wanted a tour of Karen's life. We wanted to know where she lived, where she went to school, who she hung out with, what was, the, who was she before that horrible incident of when she was murdered? Who was she as a person? We want to know Karen. So, yeah, I would never want to get on Carly's bad side. She is fierce, and she will make sure you know, like, she is fighting for what's right. End of the day, she's fighting for what's right and those who were wronged. Um, I just, I just love that spirit about her. She just goes and she goes and she goes and she never stops. She's always passing out flyers or going to walk up to strangers or putting stuff on people's cars. She goes and goes and goes and she'll keep going until her body literally forces her to stop. Sometimes that's the passion it takes to get these sort of crimes solved. She's just a ball of energy that will never ever stop until she gets resolution of who murdered her mother. And it, to watch this in process is, is heartbreaking, but you go through it to get the story out, to put more eyes and more ears out to the world so we can try to try to find out exactly what took place. How does it feel to see new photos of you guys and of your mom for the first time? This is amazing. Amazing. Like, uh, where's the picture of my mom and me? Like, these ones? Like, they have oh. to be so precious. Oh my gosh! 